What up YouTube? I'm Mr. Mac. Welcome back to the Mac Shack for the start of season four of our Lynx FC Road to Glory here in Football Manager 2020. This is the chain wreck. And as I said, we're back here with the start of season four. And look, season three didn't finish the way that anyone had hoped for, but we have had some positives. So, um, we're playing against Siroki Brajeg in the Europa Conference League. We have the home leg first up and we are right here ready to go. But before we get into that, let me talk a little bit about what's been happening in the off season. So this season, we remembered to play some pre preseason games uh, and we've got a couple of games, sort of a, a two legged contest against the under 23 squad. Um, as a bit of a warm up, you know, getting some fitness up, that sort of thing, ready to go for our season. And you can see here, uh, Kelvin Morgan has scored four goals in the 6 2 win. He scored four goals in the 7 1 win. So we won 13 3 on aggregate, and Kelvin Morgan scored eight goals. So to say that he's in good form is probably a little bit of an understatement. There's also been some big action. In the transfer market here, you can see a huge list of players in. So starting off with the big one, we secured Tyler Bury for $55,000 from Millwall. So we have picked him up. He is now ours um, and will be staying with us. He absolutely loved the club. Um, he basically was a no brainer for him to sign. And we've got him on relatively cheap wages, 2.7,000 a week compared to some of the other players that we've signed. That's actually pretty good. Um, so that's an exciting piece of piece of business that we've done. Um, we also picked up Jared Thompson on a free transfer. So he came through um, Exeter City, I believe. Um, now he was a fairly big upgrade on um, Bradley Bunder in goal. He twisted his ankle in training before even playing. Uh, he played one non-competitive game. There you go. Then he twisted his ankle. Um, not ideal, obviously. So what we did then was we picked up Serene Sane uh, on loan from West Ham for the season, paying $1,000 uh, a week. And he has come in and played the second friendly and uh, conceded a goal in that one, but he's going to be our starting goalkeeper today. We've also done a lot of free transfers from Premier League or league-based clubs in England. So we picked up Jake Hackett, who is a central midfielder. Um, he's going to sort of slot into that central midfield position. He plays best as a Mazala, unfortunately, um, but we might be able to get him as a deep-lying playmaker or something like that, a little bit more to the middle, because we only run a, a three across the middle as opposed to a four. Uh, so that's Jake Hackett. We picked up Dylan Thompson from Everton. He came in on a free transfer. We sort of spoke at the end of last season that our defense is maybe lacking a little bit um, as well as our goalkeeper. So we picked up 19 years old, Dylan Thompson. He's going to come in, hopefully bring a little bit to us. Good determination, good heading, good marking, good tackling. Um, really an all-around sort of defender type character, uh, something that we need. We picked up Oladare Olafunwa as well. Uh, similar sort of thing, good determination, that uh, type of thing. So he's going to work well for us. Tom Fielding came to us from Mansfield on a free. He's going to be playing up front generally, 15 finishing, 12 first touch. Just another person that can really bang the ball into the back of the net. Elva Fontaine, his loan was finishing, but he absolutely loved the club. And he basically said, well, it's a no-brainer. I'm having so, so much fun here. I may as well come along. And, uh, and sign. So we picked him up as a squad player to run as a bit of extra depth on the right-hand side there. So he'll be working um, that fullback position in conjunction with Olafunwa. Olafunwa. And then the last signing that we did, we picked up Oliver Cooper on a free transfer after his Swansea contract expired. And as you can see, the versatility is absolutely huge here for Cooper. So we can use him all across the park. His best position is as backup for Denilson Carvalho in that attacking midfield role. 
We are paying him a lot, so he's pretty much going to play every single game. Uh, as you can see, he's a star player, so he expects that as well. Um, 12 dribbling, 10 finishing, 10 first touch, 12 technique, good work rate, good determination, decent flair. The other thing that I really liked was this resolute personality. So I am going to set up a mentoring group for him at some stage to be to be leading others and bringing others through, but he is... Um, probably going to be one of the best players in the league as a whole. So, Conference League games first. We, we're not going to worry too much about the National League at this point in time. I think we're just going to jump into the Conference League. Somehow we're not favourites. I guess because we're not playing in the Champions section now, we're, we're in a little bit of a different situation. So, that's what we're going with today. Cooper is playing a little bit out of position, but this was the best sort of lineup that I could come up with. Um, the reason that Galliano's not in the squad um, as well is because he was injured with blisters, so I had him out of my first team list when I selected the squad for this. So I will remember to put Galliano back in the next opportunity that I get. These numbers are pretty much meaningless, I believe. Whoa. So um, I'm just sort of going to pick, you know, whatever. Uh, Dylan Thompson, sure, have 24. Elva Fontaine, you can have. I don't know, 40, oh wow, 65, yeah, why not? Jake Hackett, what a lad. Um, he's playing in central midfield, so you probably want an eight. Uh, let's go, oh, no, can't have 48, give you 68, good. Ollie Cooper, you can have the number nine shirt, my friend. Actually, Tom Fielding probably needs that. Ollie Cooper, you can get 17. Yeah, I like 17, good, all right. So I feel like I've got a lot of potential here, um, a lot of players that can do really good things for us. Um, so we're going to just get straight into this match here. A first leg win will do us good. Obviously, I'm starting to raise my expectations a little bit for the lads, considering we've been so successful in the past. Um, we're going to go out and attack from the kickoff. He's my goalkeeper. Of course, he's going to last the whole match. I'm disappointed actually, that it's not looking like a sellout crowd. Tyler Bury with a cross. Dylan Thompson on debut, coming from Everton. What an absolute star. A minute 15 into his debut, and two players making their first starts as full members of the club combine there for a brilliant goal for Lynx FC. And we have hit the ground running. The woes of last season have certainly been put behind us. We had a few interesting developments happen over the off-season break. We picked up about 200 places in the European club rankings and we're around the 215 mark or something like that now. We're not quite the most reputable club in Gibraltar just yet. Um, that honour still goes to Lincoln Red Imps, who won the triple last season. Kelvin Morgan was definitely offside there, unfortunate. Uh, with Cooper giving him some, giving him the goods down the down the wing there. We don't need to see that again. It was clear that he was offside. So um, yes, so Gibraltar, uh, sorry, Lincoln Red Imps, then us, and then College Europa in terms of the uh, the players there. Now, what is going on? There we go. For some reason, it had just paused itself. Strange, but that's okay. There getting fired up. I'm going to demand some more from the boys. Tyler Bury, set piece. Here we go. Jolly. Oh my goodness. That was literally on the line. So close. Um, and it's our defense that's doing the work here. Kelvin Morgan, just almost a guarantee this man, really. Um, it is unbelievable how consistent he is. It is unbelievable how well he plays. You will note that uh, playing up front, we no longer have Julian Larson. Yes, he decided he was too good for us. We tried to renew the loan for another season. He, um, his club said yes. His club said, yeah, we'd love for you to have him for, for longer. You know, you've done such a good job with him. Great save by Sane there. Um, but Julian Larson was like, sorry, guys, not, not my thing, not good enough. Don't really want to hang out with you anymore. And we're like, oh, okay. Well, how about we put in a transfer request for you? And so we did that. That got accepted. 
But again, he decided, no, thank you. Don't really want to play for you. So dim times there. But I think we've definitely secured upgrades in terms of the players that we've brought in. Um, Tyler Bury clearly just going to be an instant hit with the fans. Two assists on debut. And he's certainly showing why he was worth our record transfer fee. Here we go. That was a shot from a long way out. And that didn't really ever look like scoring. I'm glad that it didn't. Fairly even so far. Um, I'm pleased with the performance. We're going to keep it going there. It's interesting because in Europe so often there is just a big discrepancy between how well teams play away from home and how well teams play at home. So I'm, I'm cautious. I'm confident on the inside, but I'm cautious as well because I don't want to go away from home and then get absolutely... Um, destroyed by these people. Now, I'm going to bring Dylan Thompson off. Yes, he scored, but he uh, is on a yellow card. His condition is not great. Um, and I think we're going to just let these guys roll out for a little bit longer. I need to find a way to squeeze Jaden Parody or a winger of some description into this lineup. Probably I've got... Oh, yeah, I can probably put Clinton in there, actually. Um when we need to. Not yet. Not yet. So we're going to keep going. I, I haven't done all three of my subs at once, which is positive. Um, yeah, we'll just sort of let this play through. We're looking pretty good in terms of the stats here at the moment. Everything going in our favor. 14 minutes to go. Now is going to be a great time to bring out Tyler Bury for Leon Clinton. And we're just going to let the time tick down here. We've got a throw in a very advanced position here. Clinton and Olafunwa play the 1-2. The ball goes to Morgan, but it gets cleared. And Bibic is now bringing the ball up over halfway. Eight and a half minutes left to play. Great through ball, but he is offside. Hamdija Bajic is offside. And we preserve the clean sheet in Europe. We're going to go very defensive with five minutes to go. And now there are three minutes left. And now there is just injury time remaining on the game clock. And we are done. There we go. Lots of competitive debuts. Dylan Thompson with his first career goal. And we are a very, very happy team. I'm pleased with the result and your performance. Fantastic. 2-0. Couldn't ask for a better start to our campaign. Um, so... I'm just going to flick over the calendar. We've got about a week off in between games. So we've got the big trip over to um, the place that we're playing in, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, so that is going to be a decent trip. Um, I'm going to get on the plane and I'll catch you there. All right, we are back. Nothing super exciting happening in the interim between games. Um, we have dropped a lot in terms of our odds here against Siroki Brijeg. Um, but I feel like we're going to go okay. We've added Galliano to the squad here, left center midfield, attacking midfield center. So I'm going to swap him in for Avellano now that we've got a, a fairly decent collection of players going on here. Um, yeah, and almost everyone has reached... Ideal match sharpness, just Fielding and Cooper, who only joined us on the 1st of July. So um, they'll quickly come into form, I would imagine, going forwards here. Now, team talk. Go straight out there and carry on from the last match, my friends. Let's go. We're going to play. I'm going to drop straight into defensive straight away. Uh, and then I'm going to say, give me as much as you've got for me here, boys, because I believe we stand a really good chance here. We don't necessarily need to keep a clean sheet. A goal would make a world of difference here. Olafun won a Bury, and we turn it over, but we get it back through Tyler, Tyler Hill. I don't even know what that guy's, James Hill. Surely it's James. I can't remember. He's the one guy that always confuses me. Um, Tyler, no, it's Tyler Bury, so it's James Hill. Olafunwa now with the ball. Plays it forwards. Fielding can't get onto it. It's intercepted, and it comes back. 
for Siroki Bryjag through Bekic. Bekic is sort of being left open here. Dylan Thompson. That is a great save by Sane. Dylan Thompson's clearance straight into the defense was not ideal. I'll be honest. 25 minutes gone. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Let's ask for a little bit more from the boys, see what they can give us here. Kapsevich. Oh, Sane, you are just an absolute dream in goal here. If they're clear-cut chances, which they have both been, you've just plucked them out of the air like they were nothing, and you've made me a very happy manager. Because instead of being 2 all on aggregate, we are currently 2 nil up. And of course, the board expects us to progress past this stage in the competition, so that's really where we want to be. Unfortunately, Fielding couldn't get enough space for the shot. Um, second time of asking, he again cannot get onto the ball. And Siroki Brajeg come forwards again, but this time it's back with Oliver Cooper to Hill. Hill hits it to Yasarovic, who is not on our team. But Cooper nicks it off his feet, and we are going down the left wing here. Um, big cross in to Tom Fielding, can't get onto it, but Hackett hits the post. Tyler Bury skies it. Wide open shot there, and Tyler Bury has skied it. Jake Hackett. See, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to um, all of these player names. Uh, <laughs> That's, that's literally the biggest challenge that I'm having here as we come back uh, in the first half of the season. I think we might just tick into cautious here. 30 minutes to play. I'm thinking yellow carded player, Oliver Cooper is gonna come out for Galliano. And I'm gonna leave, I'm not gonna leave Jolly in there. I feel like that is an irresponsible decision to make, so I'm not gonna do that. But also, Olafunwa can actually come in there and play in the center of midfield, and then I can put Elba Fontaine out onto the wing and keep relatively strong through our back line, which I like. Tom Fielding has not had a great day um, again, so I think we'll put Alberto Valdivia in up front and we'll just you know do all three of our subs at the same time because that seems to be what we're good at now Hackett Jake Hackett crossing the ball in to no one Alberto Valdivia Danielson Carvalho scores almost out of nowhere and he's got the dance moves going and we are three nil up on aggregate now just sort of half got cleared. Valdivia got it. Danielson Carvalho open. Just an open path to goal. He takes it. And Lynx FC pretty much have booked their trip to the second qualifying round of the Europa Conference League, I would say. Uh, no dice for Valdivia there. But Tyler Bury is going to intercept that one nicely. Plays it into the middle to hack it. I wanted to say his first name, but then I forgot it. It's Jake. And we go back to Elva Fontaine. Elva Fontaine plays the ball up to Alberto Valdivia. Valdivia crosses Kelvin Morgan. Kelvin Morgan. That is... Just, it's almost expected at this point in time that Kelvin Morgan scores, really. Um, another brilliant finish from a brilliant player. Possibly one of the best the club has ever seen. I'm interested because he scored 20 goals in the league last season. Now, that is impressive to say the least. Um, but here we go. We could be going for another goal here. 5-0 aggregate win, anyone? I'd be keen. Kelvin Morgan? Oh, just plays it over the top. 20 goals in the league. I think he had 26 goals across all competitions. He was immense. and. We've won, we're through to the next stage. So, fantastic effort, boys. I'm very pleased with the result and your performance. Lots and lots of green players there. Not really too fussed about anything else that's happening. So, we, we get through, we win, um, and we're into the second qualifying round. We get $129,000 for getting through. It's not much, but it's great. Uh, it's all money. 
and then we have Sarpsborg 08 Football Foring, elite Syrian, Norwegian team. Interesting looking stadium there, um, but that's who we're going to play in the next round. So, yes, Carvalho, we're all very happy with you. Great job. I'm impressed. Um, what did I want to check for you? I wanted to check what Kelvin Morgan did in terms of goals for the club. Career stats, here we go. 23 plus 12, that's 35 goals. It's not very many, in fact, but 35 goals in 41 games. That's just in the league, by the way. Pretty, pretty good. Um, I don't think it does. It keeps stats for all competitions, unfortunately. It just has um, for the league. But compared to what he was doing at Magpies, uh, I mean, he was good at, at Magpies there. He was not so great at Manchester 62, but we've certainly seen the best of him. Anyway, I'm getting very distracted. Here we go. Sarpsborg 08. In the next uh, home and away legs, we get them at home first. So that is where I will catch you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we are getting brand new episodes of Football Manager coming out all the way up until the release of Football Manager 2021. We may even continue depending on how popular this series gets. Playlist link is in the description. Um, other than that, yeah. Thanks again for watching, look after yourselves, and I will speak to you soon.